<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's doing good. I know I am doing pretty good. Um, this is uh, day 28. 28 of my recovery from the sickness, the stimulus, the stimulant. Yeah. Um, so, I went to bed early last night, got 11 hours sleep, um, cut my beer back last night, and I uh, feel much better today, this morning, and um, uh, I did get woke up. I think it was around midnight, and um, with a uh, pretty much terrorist terrorist attack here in Santa Ana, California. Um, I would, if uh, I don't know if you ever had seen like a fireworks show with big giant skyrockets. Well, we had that here, right? Pretty much like outside my window for a good non-stop five over five minutes it seemed like i mean there's multiple explosions and um i'm trying to think okay is this a terrorist or is this just moronic people celebrating mother's day i guess um but anyways it kind of sucks that we have people like that around here that don't give a rat's ass about anybody but themselves so they light off freaking bombs at 12 in the morning, you know, and, uh, I wish, I wish, uh, people would step up and handle these people, you know, or the, you know, the local law enforcement would step up and handle these people. Cause it's ridiculous. It pissed me off. So other than that, I slept good, solid 11 hours. Feel pretty good today. Um, Maybe um, this will be the first day uh, uh, I'll have more energy. I think I will, hopefully. I feel like it so far right now. I like I have more energy. So I'm getting uh, cutting back on drinking. I'll still be doing beer reviews here and there and not near as much as I used to. I mean, there's more than just cutting back on beer. That uh, Plus, I just can't afford to be buying new new beers um yeah this stuff's this stuff's it adds up at the end of the month drinking craft beer is a, it's a it's a serious um it's a serious chunk of change you know uh substantial so got to cut back on for that reason as well um but you know mo mainly for health you know because i'm gonna start working out again and I want to lean my body out and it's, it makes it tw three times harder when you're drinking a lot of beer. So I'm pr pretty much probably just going to limit my, my beers to two a day. And that's at after work, of course, two beers after work. That's it. Um, that's my goal with that. Um, just control, I want control of, of everything in my life, including alcohol, food, everything but the um the main one was the one that was causing me the most problems and that's the sickness and i got i think i got that that one under control that one's not an issue anymore i'm just getting adjusted again here um but still going to be getting adjusted you know cutting out certain things cutting back on certain things um another goal to uh, start eating stricter more healthy uh diet um just overall just um aiming for a, a healthier life i think you can i think two beers that you can drink two beers a day and still still have uh you know really good um, you know, 
health and be active and um, you know working out and all that. I don't think two beers a day is gonna really hurt me that much. So that's my goal with that. Um, so that's why I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning more towards um, the channel, kind of not specifically for beer reviews. It never really was, but it was kind of geared kind of towards that. So I might be changing the channel name a little bit um, to gear it more towards a wider spectrum of just whatever videos, I guess. Um, so maybe I'll just name it beer hounds, whatever videos. I don't know. Instead of just beer reviews or, you know, something. Um, got help me out. If you got any ideas, just leave me a comment. I had to block uh, a user. Some, this, per, this, this one profile piss and chaps i think is the name of it just couldn't help themselves but leave idiotic you know hateful comments just i don't know ridiculous so had to block that one not sure who it is i don't care who it is but uh I, I don't, i'm not going to tolerate people you know bullshit like that um that's just ridiculous you know if you have to go to someone's youtube channel that's going through recovery and and just constantly you know, say nasty, hateful things that just don't do any good at all. Eh, you can get to stepping. I don't need that crap. Get to rolling, whatever. So, I like to have uh, supportive people around me, not unsupportive people. So, please uh, unsubscribe, whoever you are, if you are subscribed. Uh, so, yeah, um... Uh, thank you again for your continued support. The ones that are con that are supporting me, not trying to break me down. Um, appreciate y'all. Love you, and um, I'll keep you posted. Uh, we got day twenty nine coming up tomorrow. We're, we're coming up on a month here. Real soon on the seventeenth, it'll be a month. So I'm pretty happy about that. Very happy about that. I'm feeling better, no doubt about it. That's another reason I'm cutting back on the alcohol, man. I mean, it really affects my day, at least half of my day at work. I mean, hangovers suck. I'm I'm just so over the hangover, really. I, I It's affecting how I feel and my energy and stuff like that. So cutting back on beer, need to cut down on that uh, just so I can feel better and, and, and um, you know, perform better at work and perform better at life in general that's a hard that's that's tough you know that's not the easiest thing in the world because uh, alcohol isn't it's an it, it, it's an addiction it really is it's an addiction and it needs to be put in check when it starts to get get to affecting your life you know it gets to me messing you up a little bit so you know that's that's what i'm going to be doing with that it's not that big of a deal, but at the same time, it is kind of a big deal. So, um, yeah. Um, and also, I wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mommies out there. If it wasn't for y'all, we, we, we none of us would be here. So, thank you to all the mamas. And um, it's Happy Mother's Day to you, all you mommies out there. And, um, you know. If you don't love your mama, that's that's not good, because uh, mommy should be loved the most, you know. And um, I gotta start getting ready for work. It's Sunday. Um, all you church growers, enjoy your your church, enjoy it. And uh, I don't know, maybe someday I might try that again. Feel like I'm missing something in that area. Um, something I'm, I'm looking for, I'm seeking something higher, whether it be religion or whatever, spiritual connection or something. I'm kind of wanting something, you know, that will be there for me, uh, down the road. And, you know, cause, um, the older you get, the more, the scarier it gets because, you know, you can see the finish line. And that's something that kind of gets to you. When I turned 50, 
that one that one got me a little bit i mean i i now i realize uh i'm not going to be here forever and i'm not going to be here a whole lot longer no matter how good a shape i get myself into so you know i'm thinking things like that um my, and also like you think like when i turn 50 you know you're thinking about your loved ones you have here your family your, your close your mom your dad your, your brothers and sisters you know you're looking at them going wow they're not going to be here either and you never know when they're going to be gone either so it, it, you just get all these things going in your head and shit becomes real really fast when you turn 50. that's when it really hit hit me so I got, you know, all this stuff going on in my head and it's all serious stuff. And um, so we're processing and changing. We're always, ch I'm always changing. We, we are, all of us are always changing. I mean, you know, your body's constantly regenerating and like, it's pretty trippy. Um, so I can go on and on about all that, but I do appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, and the, the support and understanding, of course, I'm going to keep saying it because that's what's getting me through it. A lot of that help, it helps, man. So y'all have a great Mother's Day and, um, you know, fix whatever's wrong if you can with your mom, if you're not speaking, because uh, you only get one of them, you know, that's it. And if you, if you, your, you lose your mama, you know, that's just gonna, it just leaves a hole. It'll leave a hole in your life. Just like when I lost my dad, um, never the same again. And uh, love on them while you can, while they're here, because that's all you can do. All right, y'all have a great day. And we'll catch you later. I'll keep you posted. Happy Mother's Day to all your mamas. Cheers. Later.